Hi, I couldn't sleep last night. I just couldn't sleep. I knew that I'd be coming in to the green screen studios here at Brian Tracy International, one of my mentors and, and the, the forefathers of coaching and personal and professional development. I'm so excited to be here right now. But I couldn't sleep last night. My name's Jeff Klubeck. I'm with Get A Clue Incorporated. I, I, it's a coaching and consulting business that I run. I'm also a senior consultant with Wolf Management Consultants. And I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited to come in here to the studio to lay down some video for some of the content modules that I have. I just couldn't sleep. I don't know what it was. And I know it was because I wasn't afraid of making mistakes. I mean, I expect to make plenty of them. In fact, when, when, when people come up and, and ask me if they don't know, what do you do for a living, Jeff? I like to say I'm a fear fighter. And they go, huh? And, 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 and I, get, I get excited about fighting fear. And, and fear is one of these things that prevents us from having the courage to make mistakes. And so today what I want to talk to you about is a little exercise that I have that I've offered to many of my clients in coaching that I call mistake ROI. See, the word mistake gives us this connotation of shame, blame, fault, judgment. When we think about mistake, just the word alone has us conjure up some stuff that we don't necessarily want. Well, I'm here to tell you that mistakes, and you've probably heard this before if you've gotten any sort of professional development in your life, mistakes are learning in disguise. You know, mistakes are just learning wrapped in, disguised by, costumed with discomfort or, or some inconvenience or dis ease, if you will, right? So, so if we allow the, the, the facade, if we allow the costume, if we allow the, the, the external appearance to keep us from being willing to make mistakes, then guess what's going to happen? We're not going to grow. We're not going to learn because learning is the, the, the essence of growth and growth is the essence of achievement and success and so forth. So without getting too deep on this, I just want to give you a simple exercise of come on, come on over to the board with me here. And again, I call this mistake ROI. And what's ROI? It's return on investment. Yeah, isn't it great? What a paradigm shift to start to think about mistakes as investments. I think that's one of the reasons I couldn't sleep last night. I couldn't wait to get in here and make as many mistakes as I possibly could in the process of shooting green screen video so that I can get better and better and better and more comfortable. And next thing you know, after I keep doing this for a while, I might, might, might make any mistakes at all. The only mistake to be afraid of, by the way, is the ones that we don't learn from, right? If you have no plans on learning from your mistakes, be very afraid. Right? Otherwise, I want to make as many mistakes, I want to make them as big, and I want to make them as soon as possible because I know about the return on investment. But let me show you. Here's the, here's the exercise. You want to get a couple of columns. And so you can go ahead and call this mistake ROI. If you want to do this on a spreadsheet, you can. I'm not that much of a spreadsheet person. My wife, by the way, you cut her wrists and a bunch of Excel spreadsheets fall out. Do it on a spreadsheet if you want to, but I don't think you need to. There's a couple of columns that you're going to need, though. Okay, so in this column right here, the first column, let's call it the M, the mistake. What I want you to do is I want you to brainstorm at least three, but if you could think of five or seven, go for it. But what are you thinking about? The three biggest mistakes you've ever made in your life. What are the biggest, grandest, most horrible? Think about every negative adjective you can think of and apply it to the mistake that you've made in your life. Identify it. Take your time. Think about it. Find the most severe, the biggest, biggest, monumental, catastrophic mistakes, whatever it happens to be. So you've got mistake X, mistake Y, and mistake Z. Are you with me? So you got them listed. Go four, go five, go seven deep if you want to, but try to get at least three to feel the exercise. So now in the second column over, what's the C? The C is for consequence. What was the consequence? You call it a mistake, the only reason that you could call it a huge mistake is because there was some pain, there was some loss, there was some suffering, there was some expense, there was some cost that you endured, that you suffered through, some real suffering that occurred because of that mistake. But write them out. What were, all the, what were the most incredible things you lost? What were the most severe consequences? Put, make a bullet list. Right? Well, it cost me 50 grand and, you know, I lost that friendship because of it and whatever. You know, the, the greatest things in our life that we don't want to lose, the things that keep us from making the, having the courage to, to risk making mistakes in the first place, things that you don't want to lose, experiences that you don't want to feel. What were all the consequences? What was the cost? All of that. The, the most significant, the most costly. Okay? And get that in column number two. Seems pretty bad so far, right? This doesn't sound fun. Think about the biggest mistakes. Think about the greatest costs of those mistakes. Well, it gets better. You've done the hard part. Here's where it starts to get a little bit better. L is for 
learning. We already talked about this. Learning is the essence of growth and success. I wish, you know, success education, some of the modules that exist in personal professional development were more of a staple of the academic curriculum. But then again, I might not have a job if that were true. But what are all the things that you've learned? See, it, I'll give you a simple example. One mistake was that I stuck my finger in fire. What was the consequence? I burned my finger, had to go to the hospital. Mom and dad yelled at me. There was a bunch of hospital bills, what have you. What did I learn from that? Don't mess with fire. Got it? Very simple. But think about it. After you've spent all this time reliving the agony, stop and take a deep breath and shift and make a bullet point, make a list of the greatest things that you learned. What are the lessons? What are the platitudes? What are the cliches? What are the habits or patterns? Or what's all the good, right? Because again, the only mistake to be afraid of is the one that you don't learn from. And I guarantee you, I bet dollars to donuts, every single one of you have learned from the greatest mistakes you've ever made in your life. And here's where it gets sweet. Here's where it gets really sweet. We don't have an R, so we'll call it reward, right? In the last column, make a bullet list of all the wonderful things that have happened in your life because of what you learned. You learned something here. You learned something here. You learned something here that now have given you the wonderful things in your life. If you didn't learn from your mistakes, watch out, like I said. But if you're clear on what you learned, and if you could get really clear about how wonderful your life has been, like I've been burned free ever since. I haven't once stuck my finger in fire ever since I learned that thing, right? So I've been able to live a wonderful life and make a bunch of contributions and educate people and motivate people and help people achieve their goal, whatever the case may be, that I wouldn't have, if I didn't learn from this mistake here, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I probably would have burned myself to death, right? Just to give a ridiculous example. But do you see how simple this is? It's not rocket science. What's the greatest mistake? What are the greatest things that could possibly happen? The only reason to be really afraid is if we don't learn from them. But if we do, boy, are we going to get a sweet ROI? Because if you add all of this up, it equals success. It equals growth. It equals the life you want. So I'm here to tell you that I'm all about fighting fear. And so many times we have fears of making mistakes, fears of being wrong, fears of it not being perfect, fears of being criticized, fears of being judged, fears of being blamed. And what I'm here to tell you is that if you allow that fear to keep you from pursuing the life you really want, from taking chances, from achieving your potential, then you're just, you're just not going to have the life that you want. So to wrap all of this up, I just talked about mistake ROI, a simple exercise you can do that will help you understand the value, the reward, the greatness that's waiting for you when you make mistakes, as big as possible, as quickly as possible, as long as you're willing to learn from them. Consider talking with a coach to help you through this process and applying the knowledge, applying the learnings to the goals that you want to pursue in your life. I'm Jeff Klubeck with Get a Clue Incorporated. You could contact me for a complimentary coaching session at 619-618-1177, or you can send an email to compsession at getaclue.net. That's C-O-M-P. S-E-S-S-I-O-N at getaclue.net or take a moment to check out getaclue.net, the website, www.getaclue.net. There's a lot more information about what we do and how we help people, but chief among the, the ways that we help people are helping them get past the fears, especially making mistakes that lead to growth, learning, and ultimately success. Thank you for paying attention. Go make some mistakes.